Okay, here we're going to look at how to share your Mahara journal with your tutor. Having logged into Moodle, I'll simply go to my portfolio. And here in the dashboard, you can see the journal that I want to share. Here it is. Okay. In order to share this, I need to put it into my portfolio and make that page visible to the tutor. So I click on Portfolio and I'm going to create a new page. And I'll select the journal to go in to the page and I'll just drag that down. It'll then ask me which journal I want to put into this page. And in this case, I only have one single journal, so that's nice and easy to select. Uh, if you had lots of different journals, that would be why you would need to think carefully when you're naming them, because then you can select them from here more easily. So I'll simply save that journal. And here it is. You'll see that it's in one single column. I'll just edit the layout and make that one column rather than one of three columns. And then it stretches out across the width of the page. I'm um, also going to change the colour scheme a little bit. final thing that I need to do to this before sharing it is to give it a proper name. Its default is untitled, but I want to make it something a bit more obvious. So in this case I've called it Gordon's RPG Demo. And I'll click Save. OK, it's now ready to share with the tutor. In order to do that, I click on Share Page. Here we have a range of possible people we could share it with. We can either make it publicly available, which means everyone on the internet could eventually find it. Logged in users means anyone who has an account on our Mahara system will find it and can view it. Friends means anyone you have personally friended on Mahara, or any groups that you're a member of. Finally, here at the bottom, share with other users and groups is a link, and that will open up an area for you to find specific people. So in this case, I'm going to search for the surname of the person I'm looking for, and click Add. And now this person is able to see my journal. I just click Save, and that's that. To make it easier for that person to find it, what I could do is simply go into the journal, take a copy of the URL and send that to them in an email. If you have already created your page, let's go back to the dashboard, and you want to share the page but you can't remember how to get to that. We just go to Portfolio and Share. And that brings up the option to edit access. And it also tells us who is currently allowed to see this page. So if I click Edit Access, it takes me back here and I can add another user in if I need to. And that's all there is to it.